species has been vanishing at much faster rate for about a century now. Thanks to human factors such as pollution, commercial overexploitation, poachings, and deforestations. Well, so what? Is it really that important to protect every species of animal on our planet? My name is Yoki Haliprakarsa. I am wildlife biologist. Since 2000s, I focusing for the hornbill conservations in Indonesia. Hornbills is the largest and the most effective seed disperser agents in Asia's tropical rainforest, and they are forest dependent to survive. Indonesia is home for 13 hornbill species, three of which are endemic to the country. And the important part is Indonesia is the largest hornbill habitat for the other three hornbill species we share in, with other Asian countries. This makes Indonesia is the richest and the most important country for hornbill conservation in the world. But the forests which are their main habitat has been disappeared rapidly. Currently, 1.2 million hectares of Indonesian forest disappearing each year to feed human needs for virgin pepper and cheap vegetable oil. The situation is worsening with poor land use planning at any level. Among hornbills in the world, helmeted hornbill is the most unique species, the only hornbill species who has a solid cast features. It's been recognized for its ivory-like quality. Well, we know that it just lives in the old, ancient Sundaic forests of Indonesia uh, and Malaysia, but it lives only in the lowland areas of the, of the forest, and it nests in the very big old trees. It's the largest flying bird, pretty much, in the whole of these forests. And when you have big birds like that, they usually have highly specific habitat requirements. These birds live on figs. They, they, they eat animals, but when they eat vegetables, they only eat figs. And then they nest uh, in holes in big, big old trees. And these trees uh, are going to be some of the big old giants of the forest, and these are the ones that get felled first. The helmeted hornbill um, has a very slow reproductive rate, uh, which is typical of old birds living in old forests. So, for example, um, the female actually is walls herself inside the nest hole with the young for 160 days. That's almost half a year. So this is a very slow rate of reproduction, only one young a year at the very best. So we know the population is in steep decline and it, where it, it used to be quite a common bird, now people visiting forests for bird watching or, or people, biologists, uh, doing monitoring, they say it has become extremely rare. And this is in just five years, or maybe even just three years, um, th this extraordinary phenomenon. In the late 2012, I received a photos of helmeted hornbill head in the black market. This is shocking me. Since then, I start my uh, investigation projects in 2013 in the West Kalimantan. My worries has been proof. At least 
500 adult helmeted hornbills were killed each month in West Kalimantan. It sum up about 6,000 helmeted hornbill kill each year. However, only 1,142 helmeted hornbills had confiscated by Indonesian authorities between 2012 and 2015 across Indonesia. Just now got evidence that this bird should be treated in the highest level of threat, which is called critically endangered. So it goes from near threatened to critically endangered in one jump, which is extremely rare to happen. We think that in the next few years the bird will completely disappear, unless there is some major uh, intervention. Many of villagers reported to me massive hunting and poaching has been rampaging in start in 2012 in their forest. And now this bird has become more difficult to see and sometimes it's completely gone.